show you the difference between a mechanical hackamore and a traditional hackamore. We don't have a mechanical hackamore to show you, so we're just going to display photos and video clips on the screen and then I'll just voice over and try to explain that to you. So this is a picture of a mechanical hackamore. I'll try to ex explain some of the ways a mechanical hackamore work. So this one has a leather nose band and a leather chin strap and then the shanks where the reins attach. So this one isn't, this would probably be my pick if I would use a, ha a mechanical hackamore. Obviously I don't, uh, but this would be one of the better ones. Some of them have chains and we'll have pictures on those too. So the way a mechanical hackamore works is if you put pressure on those shanks, that puts, that pulls the, the nose band down, which is ideal, but it also pulls the chin strap up against the horse's jaw. So it has the wrong effect. It basically pulls the horse's mouth shut and he's got pressure on the top of the nose and on the bottom of the jaw. It doesn't work in a, in a way that the horse can give to that pressure without throwing the, the head up or getting all tight in his, in his neck and through his top line. So that's why ideally I wouldn't use the mechanical hackamore. So this is a picture of a horse with the mechanical hackamore. So you can see in this picture uh, that this horse, for the most part, his expression is pretty nice. He's alert, got his ears forward. Uh, so he's, he's, he's pretty happy. But if you really look at the details of how his expression is and his muscular structure and all, he's very tense and tight. And even though the reins are taut, his nose is up and out. So he's not in a collective frame. He's not round in his back and through his neck. And you can see with the reins taut how those, the levers of that hackamore come back and that puts pressure down on the nose, but also up on the chin strap underneath the jaw. So it's pulling his mouth shut and possibly even shutting some of his wind off. So he's not able to give properly to that nose band because of the pressure underneath the jaw. Here's another picture of just the same hack mechanical hackamore we had before with the leather nose band, leather chin strap. Like I said, ideally this would be the one I would pick, but like I said, I would not use a mechanical hackamore regardless because of the way it puts pressure on the horse's nose and chin. So here's another picture of a mechanical hackamore. This is a little different style. It's got the rope uh, over the nose and the chain for a chin strap, which I don't like at all. So again, it's got the same same mechanical pressures as the other hackamores do. It's very rough on the on the horse with the chain underneath the jaw, and it's it's just it's it's horrible for the the horse, and it really has the wrong effect. Here's a picture of one with a braided nose band, so that's probably braided latigo leather. For one, the the lad the braiding is not good at all it's very bulky very chunky and very badly braided and also it probably has a cable or steel bar core in it so it, it's going to have very strong pressure on the horse's nose with the hard steel core in this nose band it could create permanent damage on the horse if it pulled excessively on the shanks. So this would probably be my least favorite mechanical hackamore. I would not choose this hackamore because of the nose band especially. Here's a picture of a mechanical hackamore in use on a horse. 
you can see this horse is on the vertical with his face, but his expression is horrible. His ears are laid back. They're not relaxed. His eyes are telling me he's in pain and discomfort. His nostrils are flared. He's just not a happy horse. Here's a little clip of me riding Storm within a traditional hackamore. So like we talked earlier about in this video with the mechanical hackamore, the way that works when you put, put pressure on the reins is it puts pressure on the nose band and underneath the chin so it pulls the mouth shut versus in the traditional with the tr traditional hackamore if you put pressure on the reins it will put pressure on the nose downwards and the heel knot will lift so it helps the horse understand how to collect up and round his back out so if you haven't watched the other videos on the traditional hackamore i would advise you to go back and watch those we did this video just to try to show how a mechanical hackamore is not the ideal tool to communicate properly with your horse and create softness and feel through your horse and over his and get his him soft through his top line and achieve the utmost performance whereas a traditional hackamore is a very good tool to achieve those goals because of the way it functions and the way it works if you watch this video please comment and thanks for watching